the beautiful farm country of Appalachia and all throughout the South and pretty much the whole country, not just the Appalachia. But you ever think how beautiful these mountains are and all these vast valleys and all these river bottom lands? It's so beautiful, all the fields here. The beautiful corn fields, the beautiful pasture fields. And we know these people had a hard time when they come in here trying to settle this country, how to set up farming and make a living off the land. But we never think about the animals they used to do all this hard work. This is before the modern tractor come in, combustible engines. They really worked these animals hard, but they took care of them too. That was their livelihood. So I'm gonna look at all the old work animals of a day, a time gone by. We'll look at the farm. We'll look at the mining. We'll look at the logging and just general transportation throughout these hills. So let's get started. Well, we'll start out with the farming. These people, when they come in this country, they brought their cattle with them and all the work animals. And the first thing we'll start on is an ox. And people say, well, what's an ox? Or an oxen, what they call them. Well, they're bulls that's been castrated, so it'd make them docile. If they hadn't have done that, they'd never control them. But they worked these animals good. They were, they were just big babies, is what I've been told. They would work. You've heard the old phrase, strong as an ox. Well, there you go. These were strong animals. And they were real good working animals. They were just on the slow side, but they was powerful. That was like putting it in bulldog. They liked to pull heavy loads and they could pull them heavy loads over real rough country real slow. So they liked them for that. And they worked them a lot back in them days. Now the yokes they used on them look like this. This is what they went around with them when they teamed them up together, one on each side. And they could pull a real load too. But they still use them time to time, mostly for show. But the most famous on an old farm in the old country is the old mules, an old trusty mule. They was more of them used than anything, just above a horse. And they worked these animals hard in them, but they took good care of them. And these old mules was not dumb. People think they're a dumb animal. These are smart animals. They know what to do after they done it so much. They know exactly what to do. And they work these animals good. And most of these farmers, they love these old mules to death. They done a lot of work with them in some rough, rough side of these old rocky ridges. And sometimes these old mules, they'd get a good break because they would outwork the, the person that was running them. They really worked hard. These old people, they had a struggle back in these old ridges, back in them days. Hard work. Even though you started out young behind these old mules, plow on these fields, trying to scratch up a living for your family, it was hard work. But these old mules was up to it. They really worked them in these old fields, day after day, year after year. That was a big prize possession for a working animal to have. And next up was the horses. And they right behind the mules. They worked just as hard, and they're really smart animals. But these, these take care of them, they took care of you. And they've done a lot of work on these farms, 
transporting goods, hauling stuff out of the fields, working around between the barn and back in the settlements and all that stuff. They used them a lot, especially on these farms like this. Going to the barn, milking the cows. They were real docile animals too. And they worked them in these fields. That's primarily the tractor of the day, what that was. The mules and the horses plowing these fields, cultivating these fields, day after day. And they used machinery like this right here. The old cutting machine here. Set them used pulling it out in the field, cutting the hay. And these old mules, they'd stack it on them, on them wagons. They'd haul that hay in. Now I visited an old farm, old farm. Here's an old tack room on an old farm. It's probably back from the 1800s. Here's what's left of it. It's just amazing for me to see stuff like this. This is all going away. An old tack room. Still got all the horse and mule tack that they put on them, their harnesses, their bits, saddles, old stuff like that. Just going away. Thing of the past. Look at these old logs. There's the old tack laying there. Now this ain't like back in the old days, you took some time to hook up a horse to work with. And on this old farm out here too, out in the thickets, you can't find it in the summer. But here's the old equipment that the horses and mules used to pull out in the fields, cutting the hay, cultivating the fields, just sitting there rusting, museum pieces. Beautiful old pieces of history. It just amazes me to see this stuff. Old stuff. There's the old rake they raked them up with for the could throw the hay up on the, the wagons, bring it in. I mean, it's about what it looked like. Different machinery pull, cutting, raking, stacking. And they still use these old horses today sometimes. Here's one grinding up old corn, sarcane stuff, where they make molasses from. That's a time gone by. It just amazes me to see this old stuff, and it's sad to see it go away, but times change. Now out west, with the big farms, or out down south of the big open farms, there's over 30 horses right there pulling that cultivator, harvester. My goodness, the tack that it took to get them horses set up to work them in the morning and to control that many horses. It just amazes me. A lot of work there. And they took care of these animals, buddy, on the farm. They took care of all their needs, their horseshoes, and doctoring them up and taking care of everything. And this was the mechanic of the day. He kept them horses up and running. Whatever shoes they need, repairing the tack. And he was a big demand for a blacksmith. Somebody to take care of them horses. Shoes is always losing shoes. So that was a big, that was a big job. Anywhere you went, they was a blacksmith in any place. But as time went on, the combustible engine was invented. This is an old steam engine. This is the start of it. Way back before the turn of the century. 
now they went on to tractors and this is an old tractor it just times has changed and modern times went on but they still use these horses today they mostly exhibition ready rodeos and show horses but they still use them Next up is the logging. They really big demand for these work animals in them days. They worked them hard too. Mules, horses, oxen. It didn't matter. There was money to be made in this logging. And they worked these mountains hard. And sometimes they had to use these special breed horses that were really strong. Just for logging. To snake these old logs out of these woods. Belgian horses, big work horses. Right here is a big one. I don't know what breed that is, but that is one monster horse right there. And that's what they was bred for. They love to pull. And they still use these mules and horses on these snaking these logs out of these old woods. They really worked them. A lot of trouble snaking them down off one of these steep ridges. You had to be careful. You could, you could hurt yourself, hurt your horses. You had to know what you was doing. Now here, when they use some oxen, that looks like about at least eight or ten oxen there. That's some horsepower right there, buddy. That's putting it down in low, low. Look what they're trying to pull right there. Look at the size of them logs. But they could do it. Now look down here in the bottom right-hand corner using an old cross-cut saw. And they use these animals year-round in these old woods, these ridges, these mountains. Logging was a big industry back in its day, and it still is today. Now sometimes, you don't think them old mules and horses, animals didn't work hard at what they're doing. Sometimes I think they put more of a demand on them than what they, that they should. My goodness, this ain't an old log truck. These are live flesh and animals. That's hard on them. But they took care of their animals because that was their livelihood. Without their animals, they was nothing. So, there's your logging. And mining. There was a big demand in this mining industry back in its day, before modern technology come into it. All in these mines throughout these Appalachians. And some of these animals was like people. They didn't want to be underground, so it took a special animal to work underground. And they worked them hard, too. They were just like part of the team. Because without them, like the logging and farming and everything else, they was nothing. They were the horsepower. They was the machine of the day. Without them horses, they couldn't stand much of this. Ain't no man can do this all day, pushing a coal car back and forth. Ain't no way. So they took care of them horses and mules and stuff, and they 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 got a special bond with them. That old horse or mule that they's using, they know just what they wanted to do and how to do it, and day in and day out. And back in the old days, the younger men or the boys would take care of the animals. They would, before their backs got strong enough that they could work with their dads. Now, a lot of times, they would take their animals home with them in the evening in some places and take care of them, feed them, put them up, and take them back to work the next day. They always said, the old miners used to tell me that the company people say, we can hire a man, but we got to hire, or we got to buy a horse. They always used to say that or buy an old mule, but you can hire a man. So they didn't care much about a man. 
but they did that cost money for them horses and mules. Now back then they used, you could see here that they used these uh, oxen in the mines too. They did use them. They used goats when the scene got lower. They used little goats, little ponies, mostly goats. And when it got real, real low, I've seen rare pictures here of them using dogs pulling cars out. Now these animals and these mines were their livelihood. And they become a special bond in these mines with these animals. You did not push them. I've heard these old timers when I start in the mines, when they used to be in the mines with, with mules and stuff, you push these old mules hard and they just back you off into a gob pile somewhere snapping at you. They had their breaking point too, just like anybody else. But they worked hard. But when they wanted to take a break, they would take a break. That they would, they would bring these animals out. They'd keep them on the ground in some places, but they'd bring them out once a week to keep them from going blind. So they, they did that a little bit too at certain mines. But you could see here that they, they had a special bond with these animals. They was just like one of the team. They took care of them and it took care of them. It was just one big, big bond of working. But as time went on, like everything else, progress come in. They got electricity in the mines and they started using electrical equipment. The old trolley here, pole, and the old tram system, they started hauling coal with it instead of pulling it with horses and animals. So times had changed and it's even more technical now. So, there's the mining use of animals. Now here's transportation, ride of the day. This is an old country preacher going from community to community. Revival. Bless his heart. Back in the good old days. Here's a nurse in the southeastern part of Kentucky going to visit a patient. That, that's a rare thing, ain't it? You ever hear of such a thing no more, do you? Hospital going to a house. Here's an old mailman delivering the mail back in West Virginia, back in the day. Times are gone by. Here's a couple going to the store or been back from the store. Back in the hollers of East Tennessee. Looks like he's got some coal wall. Kerosene. It was usually a day's trip. Here's an older couple going to going to town on a Saturday. That was their ride. And here's Rush Air on a Saturday in any little town or community you went to back in them days, according to how big the town was. Here was the bus line of the day. You wanted to go anywhere across country or across state. This was the bus of the day. I bet you that was a rough ride. And this was the truck of the day, the old family truck. You went and got your supplies, you went shopping in it, you worked in it. That was the times. And these old farm animals, these mules and horses, they still useful today. Even with these modern, modern cars that started coming in a century ago, they still needed them time to time to pull them out of places like this. How ironic. Now I visited another old farm and they had some old wagons, buckboards and stuff in it. Time's gone by. Now, progress is a good thing. 
but we never want to forget our old ways. We want to be remembered these old ways to pass them on to future generations. So I hope you enjoyed this little thing of the work animals of a time gone by. So I want to thank you for watching. God bless y'all, and I'll see you next time.